This is how you can make a URL information lookup command for your discord.js version 14 bot. So let's go and get started. So to start off here, we're going to go over to community and we can go ahead and create URL lookup.js. In here, we're going to get our slash command builder and we're also going to get our embed builder and then we can do equals require and we're going to go ahead and get our discord.js package. After doing that, we can get our Axios package and then we can do require and we're going to get Axios. Make sure you install that for this to work. Next, we're going to go ahead and create our commands. So we can do module.exports and we can go ahead and open this up and get our data which is going to be our new slash command builder to start we're going to go ahead and set a name which is going to be url lookup and we can go ahead and set a description in here we can go ahead and say get info on a url then we can go ahead and add a string option here and we're going to do option arrow function option dot set name for me this is going to be my url and i'm going to go ahead and set a description here we can go ahead and say the url you want to look up and i'm going to go ahead and set required to true as well then we can add a comma we're going to do async executes we can go ahead and get our interaction and we can go ahead and open this up here. We're going to go ahead and start off by doing await interaction dot defer reply and we can go ahead and get informal to true here so that only you or only the sender can see this message. And we can do const and we're going to go ahead and get our options and we can set that equal to our interaction here. Next we can do const url equals and we can do options to get string. That's going to be our url string here. So now we can actually go in and write in our input. So we can do const input equals and we're going to go ahead and open this up. We're going to go ahead and get our method which is going to be get. We can go and get our URL, which is going to be this URL lookup. Now keep in mind that you are going to need to go to this link in the description below and go ahead and click on subscribe on the basic tier right here. This is going to give you 3000 API requests per month. So that's roughly 93 per day. So that's a lot and this should be sufficient for you. So just go ahead and click subscribe and then go over to endpoints and you'll be able to get all of the information we're about to use. So next we can go ahead and get our parameters and we can go ahead and get our URL, which is going to be our URL variable. Then after doing that, we're going to go ahead and get our headers and we can open that up here. We're going to go ahead and get the X rapid API key, which is going to be your API key. Again, you can find this at the link in the description below. And we're also going to get our X rapid API host. And that will also be in the description below here for you. Uh, so you're going to go ahead and get all of this information. And then after doing that, we can go in and add a semicolon here because we've completed the input that we're going to go ahead and request for the API. So now we can actually go ahead and open up a try here. And we're going to go ahead and say const output equals await axios start request and we're going to go in and request our input so now that we have all of our data we can actually go in and write it into an embed so we can do const embed equals new embed builder and we can go ahead and set a color this is going to be for me blurple for you you can make it whatever you want then we can go ahead and set a title and we can go ahead and say information on and we can go ahead and get our url variable we can also go ahead and put a down facing emoji just like this uh, so that it points down to where it all actually is. So next we're going to go ahead and set a description here and we're going to go ahead and start off by getting a bunch of information. All right, so the first thing that we're going to get is the arrow and we're going to say valid and then we can do a colon and we're going to do backslash tick and we're going to get output.data.is underscore valid. We can do a backslash tick and a backslash n. So basically you're going to go ahead and copy this portion and then you can go ahead and paste it right next to it and you can go in and get your country, which is going to be data.country or output.data.country. And we can do the exact same thing for a region. So that's going to be output.data.region. You can then go in and get your city, so output.data.city. You can get your zip code, so output.data.zip code. You can get your time zone, so again, output.data.time zone. And the last two are the ISP and your URL. You're going to get it the exact same way. So if you ever have any questions about the information that's available within this package, all you have to do is console.log output.data, and it's going to give you all the information and exactly how you can call it. So if I didn't include some information that you want, or you're confused on how to request this information, all you have to do is get it from the output variable, which you can go in and console.log, and then you'll be able to see all that. But just go ahead and write all this in. Then we can go and send it. So we can do await interaction.edit reply, and we can go ahead and get our embeds, and we're going to go ahead and get our embed. So after doing that, we can go ahead and catch an error, and we're going to go ahead and open this up here we can go ahead and return and we can say await interaction to edit reply and i'm going to go ahead and get content and i'm just going to go ahead and put in an emoji here and we can go ahead and say something went wrong so that we are done with all of this code here i'm going to go ahead and put my api key in now if you haven't done so already go ahead and put it in right here otherwise this is not going to work and after you've done everything here we can go ahead and save the file restart the bot and test this out all right so over in the discord server here we can go ahead and get our url lookup so you can essentially get any url you would like um, but we're just going to go ahead and start off with the YouTube URL. So we can just go ahead and put that in there. 
And as you can see, it's going to give us all of our information. So it's going to give us the valid, which is true. It's going to give us the country. It's going to give us the region, the city, the zip code, the time zone, the ISP, and the URL. So all of this information is available within this domain or this website URL. Next, we're going to go ahead and try one of my other URLs. So we can do HTTPS and we can go ahead and get our coding lounge tech and we can go in and send that there. And as you can see here, it's going to give me all the information on this. Now, keep in mind, this domain is registered through a domain provider, and that is going to be this information. So obviously, none of this information is actually mine. It is from the domain provider, and it might even be from GitHub because codinglaunch.tech currently is hosted on GitHub, so it might be from that. But you're not pulling the owner's IP address or anything like this from the domain. You're actually getting the domain provider's IP address and wherever the domain is actually registered in. All right, so for the final one, we can go ahead and get our URL lookup. And we're going to go ahead and get the Discord link here. And if we go ahead and send it, as you can see, it's going to go ahead and give us the area in which the Discord domain is registered at. And it's going to give us all the information regarding it as well. All right, so that's how you can make an advanced URL lookup command using your Discord.js version 14 bot. If you have any questions or you need any help, go ahead and join the server in the description below. And use our help channels and we'll be able to help you out. And you might as well just join anyways because it is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.